Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I am with Amy and Ian and Kimberly. And around about once a month or so, I get the team together and we minister to people in our ministry uh, that has really supported us and as part of the family. And so uh, I chose today um, a list of names that you see there on the left of people that I really felt I wanted us to minister to the, today. So uh, I'm going to jump in. Me and Amy are going to minister as a team and then Ian and Kimi is also going to minister as a team. So the first person I want to minister to is Ranier uh, van der Merwe. Uh, Ranier, uh, uh, the Lord shows me how proud he is of you and how he... Uh, just uh, wants to honor you today also for the path that you have walked for the obedience the lord reminds me of uh, noah in the bible it says he was righteous before the lord and he walked with god and the lord says i'm pleased with you because you are righteous before me you walk with me and you humbled yourself before me and so the lord is just very proud of you and uh, renee the lord shows me uh, the 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 seeds and a, and a chaff and now you throw it up in the wind and now the seeds fall but the chaff blows away and i felt there's a lot of people around you uh, that wants to connect with you but the lord is going to show you which ones are those seeds it's actually the bread of life uh, that the lord wants you to connect with uh, in your life and i see how the lord gives you a mantle uh, like a, a royal mantle of wisdom upon your life God bless you, Renier. Amen, Renier. God loves you so much. The picture God showed me for you was how you were like in this workshop and God put all these sticks in front of you and then what you did with those sticks, you made like these bow and arrows and you and you really made it into something. Uh, it was nothing and then it became something useful and amazing and it, it looked beautiful. And I just feel the Lord says you have a gift to so receive what you got and make it beautiful and so useful. And I just feel how the Lord says, I want to establish in your life a new seat of rest. I saw the old seat of rest where you were seated and resting with God but it was like this chair was wobbly and it was about to, about to break and I just see how God is giving you like a new chair to, just to sit and to rest in him in his love there's just an anointing of rest that God wants to give you and I just feel how the Lord says now you were faithful with the sticks to make them into bow and arrows now I'm giving you planks and then I see how you're going to make more chairs and more tables God loves you really God bless you Thank you, Renier, for being here today. Please remember, write us a comment. It's nice to hear from you. Uh, the next word is for Michelle. Michelle, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just saw how the Lord says you are the atmosphere in the home. You are the happiness in the home. When you are happy, your whole house is happy. When you are sad, the whole house is sad. So use that to your advantage that when there is difficult times, you are always happy. And because of that, then the strength will be established in your house to go through difficult circumstances. So it's not to pretend to lie. It is just to change the atmosphere that you've got in the house and using it wisely to overcome difficult times. And I just see how the Lord has crowned you with joy and how He gives you the ability to use your joy for good in your house. Be blessed. Okay, Miss Michelle, the Lord says that, that He will be your provider, that He is your covering, that He is going to be, He has set for you a new foundation for you to start building on. The Lord shows me how He wants you to go into His presence and really hear from Him. You have, you have questions, you have concerns, you must go to Him first because He is our teacher. The Holy Spirit is there to, to counsel you and give you advice and to comfort you. And, and lay it all at, at the feet of Jesus. I see how, how you are carrying things, how you are worried. He says, lay it at my feet and let me give to you what, and take what I have given to you and leave what I have not given to you. Be blessed. Hey, Michelle, God bless you. Um, uh, I just feel that the Lord has given you a wonderful sense of humor and a lot of joy. Uh, and that is uh, the strength that God has given to you uh, to overcome. Uh, you and the Renier are a wonderful family. God bless you. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Cindy. Cindy, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I see there's a door in your life that has been closed and the Lord says that is in the past. It's not going to be open again. So don't be afraid that the things of the past will come back. I see how God is restoring you, giving you a new life, a new name. And where He just says, my love and my approval I put on you. And I just see like the, the prodigal son where God clothed, cloaked you <clears throat> with a new robe and he gives you new shoes on your feet and he gives you a ring to restore the authority and just to, just to show that you are his. And he says, 
it will be a good time. There's going to be a lot of love, a lot of healing, a lot of restora restoration. So don't be afraid of the past. Be blessed. Okay, Cindy, the Lord shows me how, how you are allowing the Holy Spirit to walk in front of you. The Lord shows me how... how, how uh, I see you and then like the Holy Spirit has like hey this beautiful light figure in front of you it has as when you lift your hand the the Holy Spirit is also lifting his hand and, and when you say something that it's it's actually him saying it how you how you allow yourself to to get out of the way in him and let the Holy Spirit be before you and 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 move you and and command you and the Lord shows me how there is so so much power in that and and then many will be touched but you you as well because when you let that glory come come in you and and be and be flowing through you the lord shows me how how you will be so blessed by getting out of the way and letting the holy spirit come and work and do a, a wonderful thing in you and in others be blessed. Uh, so the next person i want to minister to is kerry watson uh, so kerry the lord shows me a moon and then how that moon goes down in the morning early and how the sun then rises. And so the moon is a picture uh, of a reflection of authority, how the sun shines on a moon and you see the color of the moon, uh, that light reflects off the moon. So it's not the sun, it doesn't uh, radiate with light, but it reflects it. And then later on the sun comes who actually radiates with light. And I felt that the Lord says, in your life, uh, there was from time to time just a reflection of God's power and of, you know, on a, and of His um, uh, power uh, on your life. Uh, but I see how the Lord is filling you and your whole family up with the fire of God, uh, with His power, and how you rise up like the sun and His power streams out of you, just like the power of God is shining also out of Jesus. God bless you, Kerry. Amen, Kerry. The picture God showed me for you was this beautiful garden. You know how when there are some people that put their flowers um, in front on their windows uh, sills, and I just see all these beautiful flowers when you look outside your window. It's like uh, uh, tulips, roses, lavender, um, that, that beautiful white flowers, a uh, baby breath. And I just feel how the Lord says, I'm creating a garden in, in the inside of your heart. For the last few years, God has really been establishing that garden, and I just feel the Lord says, everything that's in the inside of your heart is coming out and I just see an overflow of the garden for your family for your workplace for your ministry I just feel how the Lord says there is going to be more um, flourishing coming on and I just speak that over your life and the Lord says don't be afraid I'm giving you the courage to pull out the weeds pull out the roots that is not of God and I just feel the Lord says I've given you the Holy Spirit I've given you wisdom I love you now's the time to pull those weeds out God loves you Thank you, Kerry, for being here today. Please remember, write us a comment. We love to hear from you. The next word is for Ari. Ari, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just saw a page in your diary where you wrote a new, and the Lord says a new beginning, a new start, a new, uh, and then you write in what you desire, because I see God's bringing newness to you. He's giving you the chance to re-establish things in your life. And I just see how God gives you tremendous wisdom to change things for the better. It doesn't mean you erase the past. It just means you use the wisdom to overcome the challenges that you currently face and how God just mends a lot of things that is broken. He mends a lot of things in your house, in your home, and how He just shares His blessing over you. Be blessed. Ari, the Lord shows me how how He just wants that how He has come to fill every single thing with Himself. The Lord shows me how how Jesus is is holding like this cloth, and just Him holding it, that the cloth just gets full of this oil. And the Lord shows me how He comes over you and He just squeezes out this oil and He drops this cloth over your face. And because it was it was touched by Him, it was held by Him. There is so, so much power in, in what he touches. So the Lord says now that he is touching you, he is anointing you to be full of, to be full of him, to be full of his authority. When you speak, use the authority that has been given to you, that has been placed upon you. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Ori, God bless you. Uh, the Lord shows me how you are preserved by the Lord, how he's washed you clean with his blood, but he's put his oil around you. And you are preserved because of that that oil. And um, I also see that there's like a, a peace around you. Um, there's no demons coming against you. 
Uh, you know, demons, when they go out, they look for a dry place. Uh, but I just see there's so much of God's anointing oil on you. You are mm. definitely not a dry place. And that's why you're also preserved by the Lord. Uh, God bless you, Ori. Um, so, uh, Cindy Bird and uh, Cindy, the Lord shows me how he comes like a piano tuner. And he comes and he tunes every little note, every little part of your life. And then when you play the notes, uh, all every note is in tune with the tune stick of that piano uh, man. Uh, and I see how the Lord says, you come into tune with me. And then I see a symphony of God's love and of his word and of the gifts that he's given to you. Just flow out of you. Uh, and, you know, symphony, mean, uh, symphony uh, phonos is a sound and sim is one. And I just see like that one sound of God just flowing out of you. God bless you. Amen. Cindy, um, the picture God showed me for you was how the Lord just, how you're standing face to face with God and it, you're just in such awe and, and, you, and you're just releasing and letting go and the tears are flowing from your face and God is just wiping them and I just see how God has placed like a, like a purple blanket cloth around you and I just feel the Lord says, my daughter, the season of crying is over. This is a season of excitement. This is a season of joy and I literally see how God grabs your hands and you guys literally like like a rocket shoot up into the sky and I just feel the Lord says that I'm giving you I'm lifting you up and I'm giving you strength and you're going to see heights and sights that you've never seen before so I just feel the Lord says I'm giving you permission to dream because I have big dreams for you God loves you God bless you Cindy thank you Cindy for being here today please remember write us a comment the next word is for John John, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just see how God is stretching you so that your capabilities become more. I see God is giving you a lot more responsibility, but with that responsibility comes a lot of resources as well. So don't be concerned that it is a like a punishment, but it's actually a great thing because you're a good steward. And I just see how God even increased your, your brain capacity in order to to think about everything that you need to think about, to connect with everything that you connect about. It's going to be a very exciting time, but yes, some days you're just going to say, wow, today I was a really, really stretched, but you will still be glad and have that satisfaction of you did well. Be blessed. Hey, John, um, they said uh, in the Bible says that Jesus will never it will never give you something that, that you can't handle, but it will always be something that will help you to grow and, and to learn. Um, but So the Lord shows me how He has placed something in front of you, and the whole time you're thinking, what am I going to do with this? How am I going to how am I gonna use this? What do I need to do with this? And the Lord says that I'm taking you out of that mind, mindset of how what you must decide to do with what I have already given you. The Lord says when He gives you something, He has given to, it to you with a plan, he hasn't just given it to you and let you go on your way that you must figure it out by yourself. He has given it to you with a plan, with a purpose, and, and, and that is a gift that He wants you to fulfill. The Lord shows me how you must lean on the Holy Spirit and He will tell you. And, and um, the Lord has also given us like a, a mind, but the, the, the closer we get to the Holy Spirit, the more that we will, we will gain His, his conscience, his, his likeness, and with decisions that we make. So... Um, lean on to the Holy Spirit and He will help you. Be blessed. Hey, John, uh, God blesses you. Uh, the Lord shows me your business and then He shows me a river coming past your business. Uh, and, um, the, uh, you know, the scripture talks about that we are uh, like a, a righteous man is like a tree that's planted right next to that river. And I feel the, the Lord is uh, planting you next to His river so that the life of God, the full supply of God can not only just run next to you and through your life, but also through uh, your business and what you're doing and how you bless people uh, with the business that you do. All right, God bless you, John. Uh, so, Anthony, you know when you look at a, a vehicle engine uh, like a motor for a, a truck or for a, a car um, uh, that engine needs oil and water and if you drive it and it's got low water and low oil uh, then that engine starts to heat up and i and i saw uh, you and i saw that engine here by the radiator it was blowing out some steam over there uh, and the engine's heat was quite high uh, and then i saw how the lord uh, took you aside and he filled you up with new oil and he put new 
uh, you know, water and the coolant into you. And I felt that the Lord says, I'm putting my water of life into you. I'm pouring my Holy Spirit oil into you. And I'm helping you to get out of that state where you're overheating and there's too much pressure. And I bring you into the state uh, where you walk in the peace of God in your life. And so the Lord says, son, I'm helping you. Trust me. Uh, don't fear about the future, uh, but I will help you. God bless you. Amen, Anthony. The picture God showed me for you was, um, I, I just felt how the Lord says to you that you got to keep on praying for your wife. I just see how the Lord is calling you just to pray for her. Um, and I just see how you're, how you're just putting it like a, a covering, a blanket over her head, Anthony. And I just feel how that's really going to bless her. And I just see how she's shining like gold. Um, then I saw a picture of how the Lord has called you to be an inventor. And then it's like this whole box of you know like globes like all these lights but but they're just globes they're not and and, I, and some of them were working some of them weren't and i just felt the lord was giving you wisdom which ones are working which ones are fixable and which ones are okay we can't use this i just feel how god is giving you wisdom for what to do and and i just feel the lord says i'm calling you to make an army of light bulbs people that are going to shine the glory of god keep on shining your light and, and i just see how the, these little lights are like spreading around you god loves you so much god bless you thank you anthony for being here today please remember write us a comment the next one is for elizabeth elizabeth the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i saw a picture of you dancing but dancing with precision and the lord says that's the image that he's got for your life is that what you do it's it's got that element of precision because you're bring you are there to bring order so don't feel your step on people's toes it's just the way you present yourself you need to be very respectful and then i see how people start to listen to you but also you've got that uh, just the ability to bring order into chaos and the lord says i've given you that anointing so that you can use it uh, especially in areas in your life where you just feel that things are not working out just step into that uh, anointing of yours and bring everything into alignment and I see how God says I will help you with the word so that people will not be offended when you speak but that you will speak with a love and respect be blessed okay Miss Elizabeth the Lord shows me how shows me a heart rate monitor and how the the, the beats are going slowly but the Lord shows me how over time that that heart is going to start pumping really really fast and the Lord shows me how how that is your heart that is going to start burning again. I see how a timeline, how that heart was pumping, 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 and then it slowly, it, it was still in love, but pumping a little less. But now he says he, he is reminding you again of, of who he is in your life. And the Lord says that I want you to find that hunger. That hunger has never left you, but you have decided to to not not completely but quench it a little bit like okay I'm, I'm going to eat of this but the lord says no i want you to find that hunger again that i've already placed inside of you and 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 let your heart start pumping again for love for, for the lord be blessed hey elizabeth god bless you um so i want to minister to christopher christopher the lord shows me uh are you like a mechanic uh, where you work at your business and you take each one of the little areas, uh, each function in your business and you align them so they are profitable and they're not stopping the flow, uh, but they work well. And, and I saw small little adjustments and how the Lord just give you strategies. And, and I felt the Lord say small changes is going to uh, give you a big result. Uh, then I saw uh, you uh, maybe in the afternoons, uh, just go and network and meet with lots of people uh, and uh, getting more people to connect. So, you know, if you see a router, uh, on a router there's spots where you can plug in all your wires. And I see there's a few wires plugged in, but there's a lot of spots left over for more wires to be plugged into your network. And I felt that the Lord says it's important for you to expand the network. God bless you, Christopher. Amen, Christopher. God loves you so much. I just feel God is bringing complete healing to you in the name of Jesus. And then, Christopher, I just see how the Lord is just opening up your eyes and you're just asking the Lord for vision. Um, you're asking the Lord to see clearly how to see people in His vision. And I just see how the Lord says 
the the plans that you have is uh, is different to mine and 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 I just feel how the Lord says I'm just showing giving you vision and showing you what is the plan what we are doing and I, I just feel how the Lord says that there's such an excitement in his heart for what you're going to do I see how God is equipping you with the armor of God he's giving you a sword he's equipping you for what you need to do and I just feel the Lord says I'm calling you to be with a team in this season it was like you were like in the battlefield fighting all by yourself but I just see how God picks you up and puts you in a group of people it looked like seven to ten people and I just see how the Lord brings so much restoration joy and just a lot of um yeah just just a lot of understanding for what's going on now I just feel the Lord says I'm putting you with a team and you're going to be happy in this season I just feel God is giving you happiness God loves you thank you Christopher for being here today please remember write us a comment uh, the next word is for David. David, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just see how the Lord gives you a key and that key is knowledge to unlock the gift that He's giving you. How you're just going to unravel that gift, but uh, it's going to take some time. But in the process that you're working at it, I just see how a lot of knowledge that you gain. But the ability that comes with the knowledge is also what you need in your life. And I just see that there's areas in your life that you pray for that you've got lack. And the Lord says this is going to help you to change from an uh, area of lack into an area of overflow that you can become a blessing for other people as well. Be blessed. Hey David, uh, reflect Jesus inside of you. The Lord shows me how how you are how you must look at look at Jesus, and that'll reflect onto you. That is what He wants you to put out. He wants you to put out um, Jesus' love, His compassion. Reflect that. Let that let that shine through you. The Lord shows me how when you spend more time in His presence, that'll shine into you, and that is what will come out. What um, what you eat is what will come out of you. So the Lord says, come into, read my word, come into my presence, drink of my water, eat of my, eat of my word, and let that come out. Be be that light in in um in the world. Be blessed. <laughs> Hey David, uh, God bless you. Uh, I really feel you are strong. Uh, the Lord is is giving you strength uh, to overcome. Um, uh, you know, when we talk about that strength of that right arm, uh, the strength of the right arm is the, the strength of God that He gives us. That we will not do things according to the, uh, the flesh, but we will do things according to God's Spirit. And I feel that is what God is going to help you to do. God bless you, David. All right. So, if a shuku, um, uh, the Lord shows me shoes that's coming on your feet. Um, and so usually when I see shoes, I know that the Lord is restoring uh, authority in someone's life or even giving him new authority. Shoes is also a picture of a new position that the Lord gives us. A uh, shoe can also mean that you're going to travel. And I just felt that all three of those things is happening with you. God bless you, Ifushuku. If it, if it's Shuku, uh, the picture God showed me for you, this was an interesting picture. I heard how the Lord say, I'm putting you in the fireworks business. And I just see how you get all these fireworks together. It is obviously, it's like, it's not the, I don't, I don't imagine, I, I don't think it's the most easiest job. And obviously you got to be safe with it. But I just feel the Lord says, I'm entrusting you with it. And you know, when a firework comes, you don't really know what's coming. Um, and, and it's just, it's just amazing. And I just feel how the Lord says, wherever you go, you're going to be like a firework of God's love and his glory to people. It's a lot of people that are lukewarm and, and it, it, it was like, you know, they were like slouching down looking at the ground. But when you came, it was like they, they like lifted up their heads to look at the sky and look how wonderful God is. And it was just so uplifting. So I just feel the Lord says to you, you are a firework. God loves you. And I just feel how the Lord says... You're, right now, you're a firework, but soon there's going to be more fireworks around you. People's going to, you know, the more fireworks, the better. And I just feel the Lord says, raise up fireworks. God loves you. Thank you, Fishuku, for being here. Please remember, write us a comment. The next one is for Brenda. Brenda, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a, a wooden desk with a drawer and in that was a letter and how you open that letter but it was a mystery for you for quite some time and how God gives you the ability to understand now what is written there and a lot of things in your life is going to start to make sense uh, but it's not going to change the direction of your life it feels like you you want to change direction but God says it's not going to change the direction it's going to give you understanding in order for you to 
do what you do but do it with more love more care and just enjoy who you are because you're not you're not the wrong person you're the right person you just need to understand be blessed Okay, Brenda, the Lord says, stand on me and do not fear and have and have persistence. The Lord shows me Esther, how how deep she was probably afraid, but she knew the Lord was with her. So she went to the king and she asked him and, and, and she fasted for, for her nation. And the Lord says that that is what I want you to do. I want you to 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 stand up for what I have what I have um placed on you to hold. Hold that up and do not fear. And continue to to keep going. The Lord has says that I I will go with you. He is not sending you somewhere that He is not. When you hear His voice and you rely on the Holy Spirit, and the Lord says like even if you can get a, a spiritual father or or mother or person in your life just to confirm this, He says, but I will go with you, and I will and and He and He will be your strength. Be blessed. Hey, awesome, uh, uh, Brenda. God bless you. Hey, awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, God bless you. Uh, so I want to say to each one of you, I really love and appreciate each one of you. Uh, the Lord is with you and He bless you today. Um, so family, it is wonderful for us always to minister uh, to people uh, on Mondays. Uh, we got the live stream and also on Fridays. And then from time to time, we do a video like this one also. Uh, and our heart is to bless. Uh, the Lord gave us a mandate to declare the word of the Lord. And even as we declare the word of the Lord, we experience the anointing of God. And so that builds us up. And it also gives us opportunity to build someone else up and, and um, uh, encourage them. And so I hope you encourage today. Uh, if you're new to Unity with Heaven uh, and you haven't subscribed yet, will you please hit that subscribe button? And also look, there's a link in the description where you can sign up uh, for our newsletter. Uh, so uh, we love you. Have a fabulous day. God bless.